Hi, welcome to solution to this question. Now we've got to expand 3 minus 2x to the power 5 using the binomial expansion formula and find the first three terms. Now here's the binomial expansion formula that I would use in something like this and we've got a as being the 3 and b as being the minus 2x and n is the power 5. So using that what we can see is that we've got that this is identical to n c 0, n being the 5, so 5 c 0, then a to the power n, so a is the 3, so put that in brackets there, 3 to the power 5, and then the b is minus 2x, and that is to the power 0. Then we go on to the next term, and it's going to be nc1, so it'll be 5c1, and then a to the power n minus 1, so we drop the power on the a. We were at 5 a moment ago, so we drop it by 1, so it's down to 4. Then it's b to the power 1, so b was the minus 2x. Don't forget, as I say, to put that in brackets, okay? Minus 2x to the power 1. And then for the final term, the third term, we've got 5c2 and then a is reduced by one more power. So we've got now 3 to the power 3 and then we increase the b part by one power. So it's minus 2x to the power 2. Don't forget to put plus and so on. Okay. So all that's left to do is just to work this out and any scientific calculator should have the function NCR on it, so you should be able to work out 5C0, 5C1 and 5C2. Now, 5C0 turns out to be 1 in fact, okay, and if you work this out 3 to the power 5 times what is effectively 1 here, it comes out to 243. For this term, we're going to have a minus and if you work that one out, 5c1 is 5, and then if you work out 3 to the power 4 times essentially minus 2x, you end up with minus 810x. So check that out on your calculator. For 5c2, you should find that you get 10, and then with all of this here, you're going to get a plus, and it turns out to be 1080 x squared and don't forget to put plus and so on. Okay well hopefully you've been able to follow that and that brings us to the end of this question.